Hi, and welcome to this tutorial video for Andromeda's online custom publication service, Oz. Today we'll be going through Project Preview, or your homepage, and Template Categories, and editing templates you have chosen. Let's get started. This is Project Preview. From here you can view all of the pages in your job, and as an advisor, manage completed and submitted pages. Let's take a look at the multi-user role structure in Oz. Please note that for single users, you will have full access advisor capabilities. The multi-user role structure has been modeled after yearbook curriculums in schools with a teacher-to-student style infrastructure. Using this model, Oz provides users with the ability to set up tiered roles. This tiered structure is comprised of an advisor who has master controls for the book and staff who have full creative features and capabilities available to them, but page submittal options such as the ones I will describe next are limited. Both the advisor and staff roles have different passwords, though the job number will stay the same. If you are a single user, you will be given full advisor capability. Now let's take a look at page status. This is used for easy organization and management. As an advisor, you have the ability to lock and unlock pages, set in-progress pages as complete, and submit completed pages, making them finalized. Notice the color changes around the border of each page. The color key legend to the left serves as a guide for this. Please note that this will not show up in final printing, as it is meant as a guide for users to know the status of pages. Also note that as staff, you will have the ability to set complete pages you have worked on. Let's dive into template categories and editing templates you've chosen. Once you have clicked the Select New Template button on the left-hand side of your screen, a new window will pop up, allowing you to browse through all of the available templates. You will see several green buttons in the top right-hand corner of this window that allow you to switch between stock Oz templates, templates you have created, and even deleted templates. Once you have chosen the section you are looking for, you can use the drop-down menu to choose what category of template you are you are looking for. Once you have decided this, all that is left to do is look through the individual templates using the page buttons on the bottom of the screen to decide exactly which template fits your idea. Now let's say you found the template you want, but it isn't quite exactly right for what you're trying to do. To fix this, go to the page with this template selected and bring up the layout wizard using the buttons on the left hand side of the screen. Once you have brought this up, you are free to make any changes you desire, from simply moving around some of the objects to adding or deleting picture or text boxes. Thank you for taking the time to take a look at this software available as a service. Don't forget to check out our other tutorials that cover other great features in Oz. Thanks for watching.